Is that the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is a few days from now, and we are here with His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Peter Ogumiwa, the Archbishop of the African Church of the Archdiocese of Abuja, who is going to tell us a little bit and a little more on Easter and other things. You're welcome, Your Grace. God bless you. Happy celebration. Thank you so much, sir. Can you explain the meaning of Lent and its significance to Christians? Uh, let me once again say happy celebration to our viewers. Lenten season is a season that is set aside to commemorate the 40 days fasting of Jesus Christ, day and night of J Jesus Christ. So um, Lent is a period whereby all Christians come together to remember that fasting is very important in the life of the church even though it's not obligatory but it is fashioned after jesus's earthly ministry the lenten season is expected to bring man back to to reconcile man back to god from our waywardness over time man from time to time sin against God. The church fathers at a point in time try to set aside this period so that it will be a period of solemn assembly, a period whereby we all come together to say sorry to our creator. And then we also find it to, to, I mean, to make peace with our God. It is 40 days. And this period, of course, excluding Sundays. When you count 40 days from Ash Wednesday, the Lent starts at Ash Wednesday and ends on the Saturday before Easter. But when you remove all the Sundays within this period, that is when you will get 40, actual 40 days. So it is a period of, a period where we petition heaven, a period of mercy a period where we get forgiveness, a period when we come to God and say, yes, we are frail. We are not worthy to stand before his glory. Could you tell us the significance of the Holy Week? Yeah, the only, there are so many events that took place in the Holy Week. For instance, the Monday of the Holy Week, Jesus entered the temple and people who were uh, selling, buying in the temple, he drove them away. It was also the same week that he did his last supper. It was the same week that he finally gave the ghost on the cross at Calvary. All these events culminated to the fact that Jesus' um, purpose of coming to this earth was fulfilled. The only week is also, which is also known as Passion Week, is the, the most solemn aspect of Jesus' life. It was the week that Jesus was molested. It was the week that Jesus was a sort of um, insulted. And it was the week that he actually submitted himself to the most shameful death. Tell us about Easter. Easter is the core central message of Christianity. Without Easter, there would not have been anything like Christianity. Because the message of Easter is that Jesus Christ died just like any other man, but he resurrected unlike any other man. Nobody had come and died and resurrected. He resurrected in body and in spirit. People could feel him. People touched him. He ate. Resurrection of Jesus Christ is what led to what we call Christianity. It is not, it is not about religion. Jesus himself practiced Judaism. He was a Judaist. All the apostles of Jesus Christ were Judaists. But Jesus Christ is himself the image God in himself. And Easter celebration is to just tell us that you give your life to God. But when you say you give, you know God, you believe God. You have to believe God through the man who came, died like human being, resurrected like no other person. When Jesus was crucified and he died, 
the enemies try to make sure that they fortify the grave of Jesus Christ. They actually put stones that ordinarily and my, one man or two, three, four men cannot roll away. It was, they, they did it in such a way that we want to see, they wanted to see how that body will come back alive as it was prophesied. But unfortunately, there is a power that is above all powers. The power, the fingers that works in the invisible, that fingers actually moved into action and rolled away through the angel of the Lord. The Bible says, and the angel of the Lord had come in the midnight and rolled away that stone. The, the significance of that is that as children of God, there is no barrier to our success. There is no one who can hinder us from getting to our place of honor. As long as we are focused, as long as we go in accordance with God's plan for our lives. If you know you are following the path of God and you are, you are, you are very committed to it, nobody can stop you. And so anyone who is a Christian today, you are a Christian because of Easter message, which is that you will live again and you will live forever.